me and Audrey want you guys to know that you're special to us. You're a part of our family. We appreciate the power of prayer. We believe in it. And you guys praying for us. I'm already getting better every day. I feel a lot stronger. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Boat Kikos. I'm Audra. And I'm Josh. And uh, tragedy has uh, hit the farm. And uh, it wasn't a goat this time. It was me. Um, I have had something happen to me. And we just wanted to keep you guys informed. Uh, you're part of our YouTube family. And I'll let Audra tell you a little bit about uh, what I got going on. Okay, so um, I'm gonna have to back up a little bit for the story, but um, it all started around the middle of July. Josh was having some abdominal, abdominal pain, so um, we made an appointment with his primary care physician. Um, just going off what the symptoms were, he had diagnosed him with diverticulitis and gave him some antibiotics and told him that that would be good and um, it should fix everything. So we took the um, antibiotics. It was about, um, it was seven days worth. Um, and at the, two days into the antibiotics, um, Josh's pain had subsided and we thought everything was gonna be fine. Finished the seven days. Um, two days after the seven day antibiotics, the pain had come back. We had, you know, contacted the primary care physician put him back on some antibiotics and um, was gonna send us out for a CT scan. Um, the CT scan got, um, got scheduled kind of far out for what I actually wanted. So I had called the, the company and um, got the CT scan moved up. Um, so fast forward, you know, July the 29th, he gets a CT scan. Uh, primary care calls us and says, everything's good you know just kind of a little backed up and the diverticulitis but he should be fine so um to add you know some sort of um miralax or something uh to the to the regimen with the antibiotics which is what we did a couple days into that nothing happened um so we call him back again to let him know hey listen we're we we think we're still stopped up you know what else should we do do we need to go to the emergency room they said that, to, you know, just to go and take some over-the-counter things, um, the uh, magnesium citrate, and to do, you know, a, a solution, a saline solution, which is what we did. Um, neither one worked. So after seeing him in pain for so long, I was like, you know what? We are going to the hospital. So Tuesday, um, August the 2nd, we um, went to the hospital. We got there probably around 12 or so. Um, just kind of told them the symptoms. They immediately took us back, went and got a CT scan, and then following that, we went and got a sonogram. Um, and then the ER doctor pulled us into a room and just wanted to let us know that what they see on the CT scan is not good, um, that they um, there is a mass in his colon and um, she does believe that it's cancer and we are, you know, we were gonna be admitted that night, but she did wanna consult with the surgeons that uh, would need to perform the surgery. So we did that, uh, went into a room and we had a surgeon come in there and kind of explain what was going on um, and what to expect. Then um, the actual surgeon was, um, the one who performed Josh's surgery was actually in surgery at that time. So as soon as she wrapped up with the surgery she was in, she came into our room and just let us know um, she does think that it's cancer and that, you know, we were going to go in. She's going to go in and do have to do an emergency surgery. Um, she had to do a colostomy, place a colostomy bag, um, and then also do um, colon cancer um, surgery as well. So... That night, um, Tuesday night at, you know, 8.05, Josh is going into surgery. Um, his surgery lasts about two hours and 30 minutes. Um, the doctor did come out and let me know that she um, removed a large portion of the large intestines um, that were affected, um, that she felt were affected, and she removed the mass that she was going to send it off to get it biopsied, but um, she was pretty certain that it was colon cancer. Um, so 
you know, she told me that Josh was going to have to wear the colostomy bag for six months to kind of let his intestines um, kind of heal and take a break. Um, just because the intestines before the mass were three times the size it should have been and then below the mass was normal so there was no way that she could connect them right now. She needed them to heal and then later she could go back in and connect it. Um, so six months with the colostomy bag and then um, after um, he heals because because of the swelling of the large intestine she was um, scared to kind of make small incisions and use um, her utensils to go in and perform the surgery so she did cut him um, from my yeah. sternum all the way down past my belly button so it's basically like an open heart surgery so I was cut wide open yeah I cut wide open because she didn't want to take the chance of an instrument accidentally hitting the the top part of the large intestines because um, she was scared that it, you know could possibly erupt sure and then we'd be having a different conversation but um, so she wanted him to heal up uh, for about a month after after the surgery and then um, we do have to find an oncologist now um, she says if it is if it is the tr the colon cancer he's going to need probably about um, 12 cycles of chemo uh, she said which would be about five to six months worth of chemo and then um and you know um just getting a an oncologist and things like that so um and all that would really depend on what the oncologist you know what we see number one what we see in the pet scan and then number two what how he wants to handle it but I mean, right now that's kind of where we're at. We are at. Um, we had that surgery on August the second. Today is August the tenth, maybe. I don't know. It's Tuesday, right? Yeah. So we're a week past surgery. A um, week out from surgery. Josh is doing really good. Um, his his um, the um, the site where she's opened everything up is healing very nicely. Um, We've had Home Health come here today to continue to help me learn how to change the colostomy bag and just things to look for and stuff like that. Um, and we've scheduled appointment for an oncologist. And so that's kind of where we're at, but we did want to keep you guys in the loop. All right, guys, so I know that's a lot for you and uh, we're just as shocked as you are. I was uh, living a really healthy life and um, just active every day uh, we, me and her had a good workout routine and I was eating really healthy and we're just blown away by this but I'm optimistic I'm gonna fight this I'm gonna beat it and uh, we're gonna get this out of our way but I just want me and Audrey want you guys to know that you're special to us you're a part of our family we appreciate the power of prayer we believe in it and you guys praying for us I'm already getting better every day I feel a lot stronger and that's because of the power of prayer so we really appreciate it. But guys, on the goat side, um, don't worry. We got Uncle Joe. He's handling business. And uh, Joe is just, uh, he's been my right-hand man. You guys know that. And uh, we also have the Harrises. Uh, they're goat people too. And they're helping us out. And we're so thankful for that. And we've had tons of people reach out to us wanting to help. And uh, that's just how good this community is. And uh, we got some things going on. We're fishing a... This weekend, we're gonna have a goat roundup. We gotta get breeding pastures together. We're gonna to have uh, bucks separating. So we're gonna have people here getting that. And I'm gonna kinda, of, I'm the only one that really knows truly what goat can go where. Uh, Joe knows them, but I know them by heart. So I'm gonna kinda of get that. Audrey's gonna do the paperwork and we're gonna get these bucks situated and we're gonna get breeding season kicked off. And we're excited about that. Cause you know what that means. Kids are going to be on the ground. Mm -hmm. We love it when it's kidding season. So uh, we're going to do that. And uh, we, have we have another thing coming up. Uh, we have a goat sale that's in Oklahoma in September the 17th. It's going to be online also. And I've got, me and Joe have three really outstanding does. I'm going to put some pictures of a couple of them right here so you guys can see them. And uh, these does are going to be offered in that sale. And all proceeds... Uh, that we raised from them goats are going to go to help pay for medical bills. So that's going to be a big plus to help us out. We really don't know what kind of fight we got, but we're going to fight it. And uh, everything that you guys can do, pray for us, uh, keep us in your thoughts, it's working. And uh, we really appreciate it. So uh, we're going to end this video. 
and we just want to keep you guys in the loop our videos might not be as many but we're going to keep doing this and uh, this channel is going to grow we're right at almost to 10,000 subscribers mm -hmm. so the walker family farm they kind of boost us a little bit we just appreciate that so audrey tell them what they need to do make sure you guys go number one watch the video like it and subscribe to our channel yes uh get us to 10,000, and when we get to 10,000, guys i'm gonna give a couple caps away just for appreciation don't forget 15k subscribers i got that goat in the pasture she's ready to go to a new home and uh, she's looking good as soon as we get there we're going to give the goat away well we're going to end this video just want to keep you guys up i know it's a little different video but we want to let you guys know what's going on and i'm i'm on the road to healing and that's what's important so thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.